Okay guys, today we are going to the wildlife learning center where we can learn all about animals. It's like a zoo but doesn't mistreat the animals. <laughs> Flynn's really funny in car rides. So uh, I put the camera on him so you guys can see how awesome he is in car rides. Baby, have a mask? Uh, no, no. I, I brought you one, baby. I brought you a mask. Yeah, you have to wear a mask with the animals. Uh, mask. I mean, as much as I hate seeing a mask. Oh, mask. Just a you, Dada. What? A mask too, Dada. You got a mask too? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Good job. Flynn, did you eat a rainbow today? Yeah. Come on. Eat a rainbow, Mom. What? Are you hungry? Do you want a pouch or a bar? Or are you fine? Uh, I don't want a bar. I don't a bar. You're okay. You awful. Do you see two dump trucks? Yes. What on earth is that? That's funny. That's a garbage truck. Garbage truck, Mama. Garbage. Garbage truck, Dada. What? Garbage truck. after making a complete stop. So he is gonna go, but it's legal. But now we're here and uh, we're gonna go meet some animals. I don't know what to expect, but I'm very excited. So are we gonna see some animals? Yeah, we're gonna see some animals. of veggie and hold it at the bottom. Check you out. There we go. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so silly. So cute. What do you see? A bunny. A bunny? A bunny? Yeah. You see a bunny? It's actually another porcupine, Flynn. Hi, 
sanctuary was so cool. All the animals there are rescues and they're all animals that cannot be rehabil rehabilitated. So like they have been to rehabilitation centers and like if a bird got hit by a car and it broke its wing or like an animal that was donated because it was bred in captivity and someone was like, I want a pet fox. And then they were like, oh, I don't want a pet fox. They try to like rehabilitate them and send them into the wild. And if they don't think they would survive in the wild, then they go to the place that we went to today. And it was so amazing. Feeding a giraffe was one of the most magical experiences of my life. Yeah, I loved it. It was super cool. Um, right now I'm in the closet because I am going through some of the gifts that you guys have given to Flynn, which is always so freaking sweet. So I have a P.O. box. Never, no, no one ever needs to send me anything. I don't need anything. We have everything we need. I would rather people spend their money and their time on themselves and the betterment of your life than ever sending anything to me. Um, but I, I always find it so sweet whenever I get wonderful letters from you. We have, they're all up, all these boxes, they go all around the entire office and all down here, packed to the brim with letters. I've kept every letter anyone has ever sent me. I love them and I sit and I read them all the time when I'm not feeling great and I've been reading them a lot in the last couple of weeks and they have helped me immensely. So thank you so much to anyone who's ever sent me a heartfelt letter. It means the world. But that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about... The freaking presents you guys to my kids. So I get comments all the time like, your kid has so many toys, and he does, and we do give him a lot of toys, but so do you guys, and it's so sweet. And I used to show the toys that you give him, but I haven't in a long time, so I thought I would show you some of the things because I was just putting them away. You send like learning toys, like puzzles. This is like all Flynn's section, like little puzzles, because obviously we don't give him everything at once because it would be very overwhelming. It's like whenever he's seeming restless or if it's a rainy day or if, you know, we're trying to wind down for the night or if I, you know, have to do something and Eric has to do something and we need him to be occupied for a minute. Like, it's really nice to have like a place to come and grab some stuff. But like this, I'm so excited about it. I should take it out of this. It's like an under construction, like movable trucks book. So it's like a book that has like trucks you can move around. He's gonna love this. He's going to lose his mind. A remote control garbage truck, like, are you kidding me? Lots of Play-Doh, we have a learning poster, a tow truck, shadow puppets, which we've already opened and we play with these all the time. Lots of games, crayons, and lots of crafts up here, like little trucks that he can paint. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you because I haven't shown that stuff in a while and said thank you. And I think I'm gonna give him this book today um because i think he'll love it so we're gonna play with that maybe later but yeah thank you to anyone who's ever sent anything it's very very sweet um i have like worksheets that i need to fill out for therapy this week so i'm gonna go do that and i will see you guys in a little bit oh you guys um so there's something i want to talk to you about that 
I've been thinking about for a long time and I like haven't wanted to like admit it out loud. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> it sounds very dramatic, but we all know I'm dramatic. Have you met me? I've been struggling for probably like a year with like what is next for me and I'm feeling like I don't know what my place is anymore like on the internet and like yeah I've really enjoyed vlogging but like um vlogging is a great like outlet for me as far as like getting out my feelings and emotions and also I love like being able to have the videos to go back and watch it's kind of like a diary for me and also I feel like I found a great community of people through vlogging who've been through similar tough things that I've been through and we like have a little community of like sisterhood of like of just people who've had similar struggles as me and I it makes me feel less alone and hopefully I make other people feel less alone by talking about the things that I'm going through and I love that and I love that side of the internet um, but it, the vlogs don't fulfill me creatively and I'm a creative person and my life has always like gotten its juices <laughs> from performing live and uh, doing comedy and entertainment for people and making people laugh and I don't know just being creative and performing in some capacity but I don't know I don't know that there's like a place for me online in that way anymore and that freaks me out to say out loud because it's something that's been in my head for like a year that I haven't wanted to admit. Like there are a lot of pros and cons of being on the internet, right? Like I've been I've been putting my life on the internet for like I think 14 years, like at, I think. Um, I, in some form, I've been posting videos on the Miranda channel, on my channel, on the vlog channel for over a decade. And I'm so grateful that I've had that experience because one, it's given me a creative outlet to fulfill me in that way, but also it's given me this awesome career and so many wonderful friends and a community of people that I love so much and wonderful opportunities. And also, like I said, like I have all these memories that I have displayed on the internet now that you guys can enjoy and I can go back and look at and I'm so grateful for that and I love that. But there's also the flip side to that, which is like because I've put so much of my life online and there are thousands and thousands of videos and comments and posts and tweets that I have put out into the universe, there's some really cringy stuff out there for me too. I've said and done a lot of stupid, offensive, insensitive, ignorant things. And I am genuinely sorry for all of the stupid, ignorant, things that I've said in my past. I know that my mistakes from like a decade ago and my dumb comments that I didn't put enough thought into over the years have hurt people and I'm so sorry for that and I'm so sorry for those stupid ignorant comments and I've, I've learned from those things and I've grown from those things and I've grown in front of you and with you but that's a part of it and it's very cringy and uncomfortable knowing that there are things out there on the internet that I've put out that are not so wonderful. That being said, there is a lot of wonderful stuff and wonderful things that I'm so grateful for and I cannot imagine my life without that but I do feel like I'm getting to a place where I'm like, I don't know what, where I belong on the internet anymore. It feels very different now and I don't mean that in a dramatic way and I don't even mean that in a negative way. It just is different, just like things are different over time. And what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that like I've loved my experience online, whether it be through my weird Miranda videos or through my silly main channel videos or like sharing my life with you guys on here and being vulnerable and being embarrassing and <laughs> boring and stupid. <laughs> Like going through all of that on the internet has been a really wonderful experience, but this is the first time in my life where I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to do anymore on here. Like, I've seen the internet go from like a place where you watch cat videos and there was like maybe five famous YouTubers and, and there's a lot of parody videos and characters and, you know, that's obviously where I was at back then, parodies and satire and character work and, and stuff like that and it changed and then there were challenges like the cinnamon challenge and that and then there were tag videos and then there were q a videos and then there were lifestyle videos and diy videos there's there's been so many different like genres of videos that have become popular and they're getting bigger and and better and like more produced and all this stuff and it's like it's cool to watch it change but it's also i feel like what is popular and what works online is stuff that like I'm just not capable of doing like you are what you are and you're not what you're not I'm not super young I'm not full of drama I'm not scandals I'm not 
$100,000 mystery box. I'm not wrestling matches and <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not these things. And so it leaves me wondering like, what am I doing? Like, what is my place? So I don't know. I don't really know what I'm saying other than like, I just don't really know what I'm doing on here anymore. But I love, I love the internet and I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful that I've had a place to share how I'm feeling and um, be open about my experiences and grow and learn. I think I'd be in a much worse position as a human being if I didn't have the internet. <sighs> but I, I don't know. I'm saying I love you guys and um, thanks for sticking with me through the ups and downs and through the wonderful moments and the stupid moments and the cute moments and the mistakes and the exciting things and the ignorant things and all of the things that I've been through. I'm really grateful to anyone who's stuck by my side and like um, continue to watch and support. I'm gonna go, but I love you guys so much. And did I make any sense just now? I feel like it made no sense. I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I, I love you guys and um, I will see you very soon. Okay, bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.